artist. So we just saw a video seeing Heather Guller's work. So we're gonna make our own Heather Guller inspired landscape. So first we're gonna start with our horizon line. We're gonna draw a straight line across our paper with a pencil. Just like that. Next thing we're gonna do is draw some trees. You can draw as many trees as you want on this, but make sure you draw at least two so we can practice our overlapping skills. So I'm gonna draw the tree trunk and then make some branches by drawing lines that extend up and outward. And then I'm going to start making my leaves. I'm not making them too detailed because Heather Goller didn't make hers detailed that much either. So that's one tree. All right. So as you can see, I drawn out my trees. Some of them may look natural. Some of them may look more abstract. So now we're gonna add some lines in our grass to make space for our patterns. So I'm gonna do nice broad lines for this one. So you can leave a lot of space for patterns to be made. So you can choose to have them go down straight or you can choose to have them be curved lines. That's up to you. I'm just choosing to do them straight. All right, so if you watched the Helen Goller, Heather Goller video, you will notice that she made circle patterns within her work. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna practice doing some circle patterns. So you can choose to do them as polka dots. You can choose to do many circles wrapped around each other like this. You can have them be close together or far apart from each other. That is your choice. So when we continue this, I'll show you what it looks like with all the patterns put together. All right, so now you see all the circles are drawn in in the grass, the trees are made. So the next thing you wanna do is start outlining with a Sharpie. So I'll go just trace over any lines that you make with pencil. Now you wanna take your time, don't rush through this process. There's no rushing in art. All right, so that's one outlined tree. So I'm going to outline the rest of these and then I'm gonna color them in and we will see the final result. And here we are, here's my final result for the Heather Geller landscape. Got my trees, my sky, my grass colored in. I got some patterns in there. So just know that you guys do not have to have your landscape look exactly like mine. But I want you to take some techniques that you see from Heather's paintings and apply it to your work of art. I cannot wait to see what you guys show me.